All right, so the last uh, the last clip that I tried uh, shooting wasn't going too well and didn't record, so I've already cut out the leather. But what I sh what I told you in that clip is to cut out your leather using the template I or pattern using the pattern. But I put the pattern on this poster card, right? So it's pretty thick. So I could easily just take a stylus and then embezzle a little line around the outside of the pattern. And then I cut it out with my rotary tool. But now comes the fun part. Oh, you can also see that I chipped off a part of my pattern. That's not good. Anyway, um, so now would be taking your pattern, putting it down. I'm using wax paper because when we transfer it to the leather, um, oh, I need to go find tape. I will be right back. Alright, so I taped it. I taped the wax paper with the pattern underneath so it doesn't move around as much. And all I'm going to do is just take the Sharpie and then outline it. Uh, I'm not going to be worrying about making it that bold because afterwards I'm going to take this stylus and wet the leather. That's why I'm using wax paper so it doesn't get all gross and soggy, I guess. But, uh, what was I saying? Anyway, you take, you wet the leather, and then you put the pattern, put the drawing over the leather, and then you just carefully outline it. Anyway, I'm going to go do the Sharpie bit, and I will be right back. Alright, so I, um did what I was doing, traced it, I'm messing with the tripod right now, traced it, uh, very shakily, mind you, but nonetheless, I traced it, then we can remove it, So now we have, sorry if I'm kicking the camera, now we have a wax paper template of where we need to make little marks on the leather with. But before we do that, I'm going to make it easier for myself and use an edge beveler, not edge beveler, uh, seam liner, seam creaser, whatever you want to call it makes a seam line, a stitch line. Stitch line groover. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I'm going to measure the little border and then I'm going to put a seam line in the leather so I don't have to put the border line on the leather first. And then I could use the border line as kind of a placement to, or where to put this. Anyway, let me go do that, and I will be back. I guess I might as well just show you how, oh, this is the first piece um, that I was going to use. It's slightly smaller. I think this is a 6 ounce, while this one is a 9 ounce. You can see the thickness difference. Anyway, uh, I might want to just show you how to do this. So for this, it has a little razor blade right at the tip. Focus. Anyway, uh, you could... Anyway, so what you do is you take it and then just draw it. 
keeping the edge keeping it on the edge and then you come out with a little groove look at that and then you do that all the way around for the sides it kind of kind of have to do the sides you kind of have to not connect them first because you don't really know how I'm not sure how to say that if you haven't already and there you have a perfectly symmetrical stitch groove line border whatever you want to call it That. It's okay. You hear my stomach growling? Anyway, so if I we did this properly, we could use that line as a guide on where to place uh, the whole piece, and then we can wet the leather. Look at that. Let me move all this stuff up. I'm gonna let uh, wet it pretty good too. That should be good. And then we're not going to do anything yet. What we want is for all that water to kind of soak down into the grain of the leather. Uh, so, you kind of want it back to normal shade, but the inside still wet. I will come back when that is done. <laughs> 